Hello and welcome to Over 50's Wisdom, whether you want it or not. Nilcha, what is your story? My story, to begin, that's the beginning, to start with the beginning. Um, I'm a single woman living on my own, always have. Uh, been working all my life until I was about 55. And then I lost my job. And it seems that at that point, you are too old for the working world. Was this a bit of a shock to you? And had you been working from a particularly young age? Yes, I started working at 22. And what were you doing, Nilcha? What was, what was your career? I'm a secretary. Been there all my life, did I study for it. And only my last job, I did more administration. But all the others, I worked for management, for bigger companies. Okay, now this is quite interesting because at 55, you lose your job. And I would have thought at 55, after 30 years and a bit of being a secretary in that world, that you would have been in much demand. Was that true? Um, no. You just, you, know, you just get the standard answer, uh, too many uh, applications. My profile was not good enough. Once he said I didn't have enough experience. What? I mean, oh. obviously this isn't true. These are obviously excuses from employers. So they don't want someone over 55 with experience. So what What do they want? Um, somebody of 22 with lots of experience. <laughs> the irony. The irony of yes. it. It's funny you say that, because a few years ago, you know that I'm in the world of antiques on television. Yes. A producer rang me and they said they're looking for an art expert in old masters. But what they wanted was a mid-twenties surfer dude looking guy with long hair. And I said, you're going to have to manufacture him because he doesn't exist. So they wanted someone young with the experience that you have. But why is it that employers don't see the great benefit in, in employing somebody with experience? Uh, what you hear here is first, we're too expensive. Oh, so, so the youth work for less? Is, yes, so, I, don't, I didn't mind working for less because I know if I apply for a job that is for, uh, say, a receptionist, I get less pay. Okay, I know that. Um, others, what you say here is they are afraid because you're older, you get sick more often, so they right. don't have anything of you. And otherwise, we don't know because our uh, retirement age at the moment for myself is 67. So you're in the Netherlands? Yes. Okay, and I think it's about the same here in Britain as well. So that's, but that's 55, you still have 12 years to go. You do, and, and 12 good years, and you are looking forward to getting into work. So at 55, you suddenly you find yourself looking for work. Now, uh, talk to me about the process and what happened, and was it a surprise? Well, okay, um, what happens here in the Netherlands, you first get uh, something that's called WW, and you get 70% of your wages, and you have to apply for a job. You, are, you have to apply four times a month. That's what you mean, because you have to... Not now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's that? That's for my mail. And that's Tom, Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're well connected then, obviously. <laughs> well, <laughs> just well. <laughs> and So let me just stop uh, you. you. You get 70% you... of your wages paid yes. by the government. That's, yes. that's a real chunk of money, much better than, than we get here. And how long would that apply for? That depends on how long you have worked. And because I had worked a long period of time, I got it for uh, a bit more than three years. Wow. So okay. at that time, you have time to try to get a job. You get some uh, workshops, but well, they're not that helpful. They okay. only say how you have to uh, make a, a CV or how you have to write a letter. And... And that's it. Well, I, I suppose you probably know all of that, so you have to be yes. you have to go through the process to get yes. them. I, 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 sort of understand that. So, how, how many jobs did you apply for? I think two or three hundred, or perhaps more. Wow, you probably lost count, I'm guessing. Yes, and I wasn't surprised to getting the the replies anymore because it just looked 
like they copy it somewhere from the internet. And how does that make you feel? I mean, that constant stream of rejection is very hard to handle. No, not for me, because I, I I expected it, because you hear it everywhere. I met somebody I knew from uh, primary school, and she also just lost her job. And she had went to the company doctor, and he even said to her, do you expect to get a job? But what, what, is it, what is it with society now? You know, has it always been the way that old people, well, I say old people, 55-year-olds are not old, they've got plenty of energy left in them, uh, are literally thrown on the scrap heap. I don't know whether this is good for business. In fact, I, I'm pretty certain it's, it's bad for business. Yes. Where, where, where did this cultural change come from? I, and when did I it happen? I think it's all money, because it's, 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 all, it's it, the, the biggest group here of people who are living from money from the government are of 50 and older. But you said that you would have been happy to work for less money. So, yes, and, and I think I a lot of people would in your position. Yes, but you don't get a chance. No. Well, I, I, you... it's, it's, it's bonkers. So, so you dealt with it pretty well. How long were you searching for work until effectively, I'm guessing you've probably given up, have you? Um, I couldn't give up because you get checked. Ah, so, how often? Uh, so you have to prove that you're applying for you jobs. You have to uh, put it in a system on the on the internet. So you have to do that. But at a certain point, even if you just registered uh, with Linklad or another uh, agency, it was enough. Okay. So that that. And after my uh, WW stopped, you then get the basic minimum to survive. And do you mind me asking what, what level of payment you get now from the government for unemployment? Um, I can say just the amount because it's, everybody gets the same. I get 1,100 euros. Right. And then do you have to pay your uh, your mortgage or your rent out of that as well? Yes, everything. Okay. So, I mean, it, it's, it must be relatively hard to survive on that. It is, but I'm lucky that I bought my house uh, 33 years ago. Fine. And it's almost nothing left. So you're in a very lucky situation yes. compared to, I'm guessing, many thousands of people in the Netherlands yes. of, of a certain age. So um, how old are you now, Nija? Do you mind me asking? I'm 64. 64. So ha have you been now out of work for nine years? Yes. Well, you've got a smile on your face. <laughs> yes. Oh, I am enjoying myself. <laughs> I finally have time for my hobbies. <laughs> no, hang on then. Was this a blessing in disguise to you? I think so. At first, it's, it's very nerve-wracking because you don't know what to do. Um, should I go do something? But if I get a job, I have to stop again. Uh -huh. um, get another job, another dog, or not? Or it's <laughs> because you, you can do something. But if you have to, if, another time when I was out of work and I started some voluntary work, and they were happy with me. It was in Safari Park. It was just great. Wow! How how, how stimulating. Yes. So, I would have rather stayed at the safari park, but okay. So you, you were forced into retirement nine years ago. What do you do to fill your day? And uh, has life got better over these last few years? Yes. Went, yes oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes, because, well, I just had a young dog and, well, it's just great to have for now for all time with me. Um, and the best thing I did is I started painting. Lovely. I, I know the therapy. Dabbled. The and I thought, well, I have to do something because you don't have money to do on well, vacation or anything. That's not but And that's the best thing I have could happen to me. I find out I could draw and I could paint. And okay. And what's did the future? What, what, okay. what are you going to do? Are, are you just going to continue with this life with dogs and living a stress-free life? I mean, so you, you haven't yes. got abundance of money. Is how, how do you feel about money now as opposed to when you were younger? Is it's it about this, Yeah, I had more. I could do things, but I'm now not just looking to the day I really get retired and I get my retirement fee money. So and, I have a little bit more. Right, okay. And so do, do you get joy out of things now that you're not working that maybe you didn't get joy out of from before? Yes, I, I enjoy working with my dog, meeting the people here in the village. Um, I work lots in my garden. And I, I just, I can see my mom. My mom is 97. 
So I could easily visit her during the week for coffee and do things what she needs now. Um, lots of things I start I can do. So looking back, when you were 55 and it was a shock that you were, you know, thrown out of the work environment and you obviously were pretty devastated by that. Yes. Looking back, what was it indeed a blessing? For me, yes, it was. Wonderful. No more stress, nothing. No more stress. I think that's the answer to life, isn't it? Yes. Good, healthy, long life. Less stress. Yes. And I still get up early in the morning. So sometimes when I walk with my dog, seven o'clock mornings, and I see all the people walking with their dogs, I think they have to go to work. And I go home and relax, do some things I need to do. Wonderful. Now, Nature, finally, what, what advice would you offer to someone, you know, at 55, watching this, they've just lost their job, they're applying for jobs all over the place and they're getting rejected. How should they go about, you know, protecting their mental health as, as much as anything else? What, what advice and hope can you give them? Well, what, what I always said, also during the course this week, was from people who are really depressed, I said, does it help you to get depressed or does it help when you sit crying in a corner? The only person who will feel worse is yourself. And if you try to be happy, try to find something that you can feel happy about, you're in a better place. So if you go for a job, you feel better. So... And that makes, I think, it also easier to find a job. Just be happy and do things you like. And, and, money, and money isn't that important, as long as you've got enough to, to survive. Well, you have, you can pay your costs, you have food on the table. You still can do nice things without money. Wonderful. So yes. 64, unemployed, not a great income, but you're happy. Yes, I am. Well, that's lovely to hear, Nisha. Thank you very much. A great inspiration for... Over 50s wisdom, really appreciate it. Okay, in Dutch I would say graag gedaan. I think it's you, you're welcome. I well, that's fine. well, it's an absolute delight to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah, same to you.